Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a next try on haul. So let's get cracking. Hiya, how y'all doing? I'm doing really well. I'm having such a nice day just sitting here doing filming and stuff. Um, yeah, it's really, really cheering me up. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm not down by any stretch of the imagination. I've had my moments um, Friday when I got home from the hospital and shopping and things. I sat and had a few tears and then pulled myself together. Right. You know, pulled myself together. I thought, goodness me, Kim, come on. You can still get on and do things. You can still crack on with your life. It's um, it's okay. You know, sometimes you've just got to have those few tears, haven't you, though, to be able to, like, pick yourself up again. So, anyway, <laughs> ages ago, my pal at work, Dawn, had been given this voucher. Um, I'm just going to grab my coffee. Hang on. Right, got it. My pal at work, Dawn, had been given this voucher um, at some point for next, and it's not somewhere she shops. So I said to her, oh, I'll buy it off you. I go to Next all the time. And I said that and then didn't actually go to Next for ages. But I was utterly determined with said voucher burning an hole in my pocket that I was going over this weekend. I've got um, problems with the arm in that I can't pull things up that have got buttons and zips on them and what have you. So I wanted to get myself some jeggings and bits and pieces. I also wanted some more tops. Um, that would go over the brace that I've now got on my arm. Um, so, went into next. I actually went and had my lunch because at, at the next in the uh, Broadway where I went in Bradford, the upstairs there's a Costa. So, I went and had a coffee and a little bit of something to eat and the lassie there were really kind to me, brought it out for me um, because I'm struggling to hold things up and what have you. Just had a really nice sit and um, and enjoyed my time and then went and had a look round. And I'm really super pleased that I'd waited till this weekend because it felt like they'd got all the spring things out and there were loads of stuff that I was very, very interested in buying. So I, I spent more than the £30 voucher, probably spent 100 quid plus while I were in there. But anyway, I've picked up some things that I think are going to tide me over um, during the time that I'm one-armed, if you see what I mean, right? So I'll just have a slurp of this coffee. It's delicious. Although I have had to microwave it once because it's gone cold while I were filming. Anyway. Ah, so nice. Right. Put my gigs on. Let's have a look at these things that I bought. They're all on coat hangers because I I've learnt my lesson. Put them on a coat hanger so I can actually show you them. Otherwise, it's like me holding up my dishcloth, you know what I mean? Oh, now it's come off the coat hanger, come on. Right, so I bought this little top. I thought it were really, really pretty. Loved the patterns on it. Slightly reminded me of sort of William Morris patterns. But it's got um, daffodils on it, which I love. I love daffodils. So very spring-like. It is a vest a top, sort of camisole thing. It's got a slightly v-neck at the front, higher at the back, two straps. These aren't adjustable, the straps, so I'm hoping they fit me. At the front, it's got these four little buttons, um, covered buttons with a little opening. don't know if you can see that sort of towards that side of the screen. Right, four little buttons, and then it's just gathered on on this little band at the front and at the back. It's quite short in the body. But I'm wanting to wear it with jeggings and definitely with something over the top. I wouldn't just go out with that on, you know, I'd want something over my arms. But I just thought it was so fun and so pretty. I thought I'm going for it. Um, even though it's not a style I would normally go for. Um, this was £25 and I bought it in a size 14. Okay, it's all cotton. Really, really sort of summery slash spring-like. Just loved it. So, um, super happy I got that one. Really excited to try it on. Then I bought this basic sort of vest thing in white. Finding these are invaluable. You can put patterns, cardies and stuff like that over. Um, this were £10 and I bought this in a 14. Okay, it's got like a scoop neck, sort of a, not a V-neck, but it's more rounded than that at the front. No sleeves and at the back it's got a V. Um, and then a sort of seam going down the centre of the back. 
and it's more flary in the body so it'll cover like a multitude of sins you know like my tummy um but it's in this really nice cottony fabric and it's got wide straps as well so hopefully they'll go over like a bra um without my bra sticking out and then i can put like a cardi over the top of it so yeah very very happy with that one i wish they had this design in more colors but um i could only get white or black so i picked up the white one because i've got a couple of black sort of t-shirt vest tops so just wanted the white one there's an alarm coming okay next up i bought this jazzy green vest i'll wait for that to go past right okay this has got a rounded sort of scoop neck at the front no sleeves but quite wide straps over the shoulders and then a rounded scoop bit at the back now they had these in all different colors but and it was seven pounds or two for uh 13 pounds right so six pound fifty if you bought more than one but the other colours I wasn't so keen on. I just really like this jazzy green. I'm proper into green. So thought this were lovely. Wish this had been in the other style. Because I prefer the other style. But loved this colour. So I bought that anyway. And I thought £7 were a bargain. You know for next quality. It's in like a thicker t-shirt material. You know not too thin. Um, and I just loved it. Loved the colour. That's basically what I'm saying. I love the colour, so I decided to go for that. Thought that with like cardies and jackets and stuff over the top might be quite pretty. Next up, I bought a pair of trousers. Okay, now these are in like a t-shirty fabric. I bought them in a medium and these were £22. Okay, so they are just like a t-shirty type fabric they've got elastic around the waist quite um a broad band got angular pockets at the front i don't know if you can see that there right both sides so there's a pocket at either side but the wide leg now i'll wear these just you know at home to start with and when they start getting a bit shabby i thought these would be fantastic for wearing at work when it gets on to the warm weather I bought a couple of pairs at Marx's uh, last year. Oh, somebody's messaging me. Uh, at again, at Marx's last year, and they were um, and they're sort of a sort of crinkle cotton and really nice. The wide legged, super great when it's really hot at work. But um, yeah, I thought these would equally be nice. I just liked how floaty they were. They've got this tie bit. Does that actually work? It does. So this drawstring thing at the front with little metal ends on it, there, okay, round the waist, actually gathers up those trousers. So I just loved them. If these work out for me, I might get myself another pair of those. Just because, like I say, I think they're going to be great when it gets on to the warm weather and you don't want stuff clinging to your legs, you know, um, especially not when you're working. And, uh, yeah, I think they'll be fabulous for at home for now. And then at work, once they start to get a little bit more shabby. Right, so I got those. Next up, I got myself this lovely top. Right, they had some really pretty t-shirts, but they didn't have a wide enough sleeve. This has got more of that flutter sleeve. I'm not overly fond on the flutter sleeve, if I'm honest about it. But at the moment, I'm really loving it because it goes over this brace. So yeah, got this one. Love the patterns on it. Love the colour. Sort of all gingery browns um, with a little bit of purple in it. I don't know if you can see that little bit of purple flowers. Um, it's got like um, elastic gather bits here. You know, like ruched details over the top of the shoulders. These flutter sleeves, which are going to be great over this um, cast slash brace. And it's quite high at the front of the neck and at the back, but goes out, you know, not super short in the body. Just loved it. This I got in a size 14. It was £18. Now, they had this in a couple of designs, but this was my favourite. But if this works out for me, I might go back again and get the other another design one you know another pattern of it um just in the same style so because it will go over me um arm and i just sort of think it's going to be a bit more modest than the first one which is uh very much a little camisole thing you know so yeah i like that one an awful lot thought it were really pretty nice cotton fabric as well feels good quality love it absolutely love that there's the back very similar at the back you know 
Um, so yeah, like that one an awful lot. Looking forward to trying these on and seeing if these work out for me. Next up, I bought a pair of jeggings, but they won't go over the coat hanger. So I bought these in a size, did I get these in a 12? I did in fact get these in a 12 regular and they were 25 pounds. The reason I got them in the 12 was because they didn't have the 14. And I'm hoping they go on. Right, okay. So it's a pair of bleachy wash um, jeggings. No pockets or zips or anything at the front. Traditional pair of jeggings. They've got these fake sort of stitched bits to make them look like that. But they don't actually have... They're not real. And at the back, they've got two real patch pockets on. They are just like a skinny leg going down. Um, I much prefer a straight leg, but jeggings are jeggings. And at the moment... Because of me restrictions, I can't get proper jeans up. Well, I can get them up, but it's the fastening the button and doing the zip all the time. It's just taking too long. You know, a trip to go have a wee is taking like 15 minutes when I've got like a button and zip and stuff. Just to make about 20 attempts before I actually get the button fastened. So I wanted a pair that just, I didn't have to deal with all that. So I bought these ones. I'm really enjoying the bleachy wash. Much more than darker wash at the moment. I think it's this time of year, isn't it? You want lighter things. So I hope that this 12 regular fits me. If not, I may have to go back and get the 14 or order the 14 online. But I thought I'd give them a go anyway. I have lost a wee bit of weight, just a little bit, um, since the injury because I'm just off my food so much. So we'll keep our fingers crossed that the 12 will go on. You know... It may not, it may not. I might be slightly ambitious when buying the 12, you know. I am being slightly ambitious, but we'll give it a go anyway and see whether they'll go on. Um, and at least I'll be able to judge the length of them and things. Even if they are too tight for me and I have to exchange them, I'll know that whether the leg length and stuff is okay. But I absolutely loved that wash, just loved it. Thought it's a nice bleachy wash in a sort of more sort of my age group way rather than the super bleachy wash, which is a bit um, young for me, you know. So anyway, it's got belt loops, real belt loops on this as well. So um, not that I'm going to need a belt to hold it up. I think my tummy will hold this up, you know, all right. Not be surprised if they even go up, but we'll give it a go anyway. So those are all my things from next. So um, yeah, I had a really nice time. I could have gone on for ages. There were loads of stuff, absolutely loads. So if these don't work out for me, I know I can exchange them for other things that do just because they add so much in. I would highly recommend having a look because they had some really pretty colors. They had this pink um, like cardigan thing, but it were, um, it were like a cross between a hoodie and a cardigan, it was cardigan weight, um, thin, and um, had a hood on it, but it was uh, the shape of like a hoodie. You know, the ones that you get a zip up the front with like a string and tie and stuff at the bottom. But it were in this pink color and I held up against me, it completely washed me out. If they'd had that in other colors, would definitely have gone for that as well. So there are loads of stuff and if these don't work out, I'll have a look online and see whether I can pick up any of the things that I, I liked, but just add some like the colour were wrong and things like that because they've got so much more online than they've got in the store, haven't they? So, um, but anyway, what I'm going to do is go away and try them on. I'll insert the try-ons now. Okay, love, love, love these uh, jeggings. These fit great, absolutely great. I'm sorry about the mess around me, right? This is what happens when you're one-armed, right? You don't sort of tidy up the mess in between times, right? I've, I've actually put this over this strap that I've got going around me. So if you're wondering what this strap is, that's what it is. But I really, really like this. It was super easy to get on. Um, and uh, yeah, I really like it. Could imagine tucking it slightly um just love it really love it i'll show you the back so yeah the jeggings are just unbelievably good fit i'm definitely going to buy some more of these right at 12 i can't believe that a 12 is going on at this point i've been a 12 since pre the pandemic so 
the fact that these are even going up, although they are slightly emphasising my tummy, I think, and I do slightly have a bit of an overhang on them, but they're not cutting the circulation off and they're not uncomfortable in any way. The ankles are fine, they go down to, the, you know, to my ankles. So really, really like these. Definitely, definitely gonna buy these in uh, another colorway. Just love them so much. They're really easy to get up and down as well. They're high-waisted enough, which is fab, really fab. Um, and yeah, just like both of these. This is higher neck than I would normally wear, but because it goes over my arms, I'm not mad about it, you know, not mad about it at all. So uh, yeah, like both of these, these are definite keepers from me. Absolutely definite keepers. Could imagine wearing these in the nice weather. It's a beautiful day today actually here. So could imagine wearing these in the nice weather. I'm not gonna be stuck in my black leggings all the time. Just really like them. Really like them, fit me great, these jeans. And I really like the top. I like that it's got extra fabric around here as well. So it covers up me, all my, um, you know, sort of uh, arm accoutrements, <laughs> right? But also covers up my tummy and where this might be slightly digging in. It's not digging in, but it is emphasizing. I've got a little bit of a muffin top at the front here. But anyway, I really super like these. I'm gonna keep the jeggings on um, and try on some of these other tops and we'll see how we get on. Okay, this is no, sadly not, right? Absolutely not for me. This is, um, it's just too long in the strap. It reveals way more than I want to reveal. You can see my bra coming out from under it. It, this would require an underwired bra, sorry, a, a bra with no straps, a strapless bra. And I don't have enough boob to hold up um, a strapless bra. Okay, so um, sadly, for all I absolutely love the fabric, this is a no. I mean, this bit's been covered by all the rest of my straps and things from the um, cast, whatever it's called, the brace. But, um, yeah, it's just no. On the back as well, you can, it sort of comes down so low that you can see my bra strap. So, no, thank you. Sad, but I will swap it for another one of those tops, I think, in a different colourway so, or a different pattern. So, sadly, this one's a no. So, I might try the black trousers on and a couple of the other tops. Wow, the effort involved in taking that um, camisole off were just unbelievable. Um, on that basis as well, no chance, right? Okay, this is much more my style, right? It's got a nice wide strap on. And I like that it's got this V-neck on it. Um, it's nice and floaty around here, so cover up a multitude of things. And I also absolutely love these trousers. They're a perfect length really floaty i love it's got they've got pockets just absolutely love both of these good old next right i'll show you the back of the top and then the back of the trousers um yeah love them to bits i'm going to look out see whether they've got any more of these tops and um, this is another strap coming down really sorry guys but i've got strapping all over on the inside of these um, but it's just so much easier just to put the top over the top of the strapping than to have to keep taking the strapping off, fasten it back around and everything. So yeah, absolutely love both of these. Really, really love them. Super summery and these trousers are going to be great once they're not um, quite so nice, once they've been worn quite a few times. Uh, for going into work. So yeah, love them to bits. Love both of these. Really, really love them. Oh, I'm really excited about my stuff I got from next. Right, absolutely love them. I could have done with a smaller size in these. If I go back and get another pair, I'll probably get the 12 rather than the 14, just because they are very, very big. But um, they've got this drawstring, so you can actually pull them up. They're not um, one size. These, this drawstring actually works. So, um, you know, they're not going to fall down or anything. It's just that, um, you know, with hindsight, probably would have bought the 12. 
but yeah, I love both of these. Absolutely love them. Even though it's black and white, I still feel quite nice in them, you know. Not sure what my hair's doing at this point. It's probably really, really frizzy. We're pulling things over my head. But anyway, I'm gonna try the green top on. Okay, this green top is not as nice as the white one, or I don't think anyway. Um, it is very fitted. So look, you can see, sort of see this bit here that sticks out. But um, I could imagine this with summer over the top. This is strapping, right? With summer over the top, um, it'd actually be okay. You know, if I got like, um, like a nice cardi over it and things, I think it might be all right. But let me know what you think, will you please? Because I don't want to wear something if it looks shockingly bad. I mean, I'm trying to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear particularly with all this going on. I, I think this looks vaguely like um, some sort of police thing. You know what I mean, right? But um, but yeah, it's better than the, the cast that I had on before. But yeah, I, I do like it. I like the colour. It's just having worn the other one, um, the other uh, top, sorry, pull this bit of strapping out. Um, having worn the white one, I like the white one better, but I don't mind this. And I won't wear it with no nothing over it, you know. I'd wear it with um, a cardi over it or something like that. But please give me some advice, will you? Because I have got some really nice things that I absolutely love. Um, namely, the, the, the pattern top with the little flutter sleeve, the jeggings, these trousers and that white top. So if, if I have to return this one and the little camisole, which is an out and out note, um, in part, it was like I say, I can't get it on and off. You know, you have to unbutton it all to be able to get it off again. Um, I won't be sorry that I've, you know, that I'm taking a couple of things back because um, I have got some really, really nice things. But I could see this being useful under like a nice cardi. You know what I mean? I think it might be all right. It's just I wish it were a bit more flary and a bit less fitted at this point. But anyway, that's all my things from next, so I'll hand you back. Hiya, <laughs> okay. Right, oh my goodness, trying on clothes is actually quite difficult at this time. Oh dear me. Um, anyway, right, so as far as the clothes that I got from next uh, go, I really liked some of them. I absolutely love the jeggings. The jeggings fit me perfectly. And um, yeah, I'm inclined to go get myself some other colours of those. Um, I'll certainly look online and see if I can find some other colours of them. I'll show you them if I get them right or when I get them. Um, just because I think they're, they're like a perfect fit for the size I am at the moment. At this point, for this time, and before me, um, me greediness comes back, <laughs> which it inevitably will once I'm finished with, you know, once this is healed and everything, um, I think that's a perfect size for me. So super happy with that. I really like the top with the elasticated bits of the shoulder, you know, like the brownie one absolutely love that and like i said there were other colors or pattern ways in that so i may end up getting myself another one of those um just because it's not like a vest but it does fit over everything you know it's easy to get on and off and what have you so may end up looking for another one of those um and uh i'll take back the um the little camisole top absolutely not on that one that's that is just no way that I would want to wear that. So I'd use the money from that to swap for um, another one of those really nice tops that I really like. It is quite high in the neck, but at the moment, because of everything else that I've got going on here, I'm not too worried about the neckline, you know. Um, so yeah, I might use the money from that to exchange for another one of those tops. I love the white vest. Um, I actually love the colour of the green one, but I'm not sure what it looked like on me and whether I looked a bit sort of sausage skin like. do you know what I mean? So I'll be waiting on people's advice about that one. But all in all, I've really enjoyed quite a lot of the things I got. Loved the black pants, absolutely loved those. They were so easy to get on and off. And also, like I said, that is something I could wear at work in the warm weather that's not going to be clinging to me and feeling really hot. Um, so I may end up getting myself another pair of those, but I might size down in them for next time. 
But anyway, that's all my things and I'm really, really happy with a lot of them, like I say. But that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!